हेलो फैमिली वेलकम बैक टू कटोज ट्यूब आई एम होस्ट पारस एंड इन टुडे इज वीडियो आई विल शेयर अ सिंपल स्टेप इन विच यू कैन कन्वर्ट योर ई आर सी ट्वेंटी टोकन टू बेप ट्वेंटी टोकन एंड बेप ट्वेंटी टोकन टू ई आर सी ट्वेंटी टोकन नाउ ऑल दिस स्टेप्स हैज बीन सिंप्लीफाइड सो डू वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड रिमेंबर द ई आर सी ट्वेंटी इज द टोकन स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ इथेरियम एंड बेप ट्वेंटी इज द टोकन स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ फाइनेंस मार्चेल एंड इफ यू वॉच दिस वीडियो यू कैन स्वैप एनी टोकन अक्रॉस एनी चेन सो डेट्स वाई टेल यू watch the complete video and you will get the complete knowledge out of it which can be used anywhere now before i start as a ritual remember to press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to watch the daily crypto videos on my channel which is right on your screen and if you are someone who wants to join the community of like minded people in the crypto space just click the link in the description of this video and join our telegram community of enthusiast now if you open your wallet which is right over here if you open your wallet you will see a lot of chains is there so i am opening one metamask so on metamask you have a lot of networks like ethereum finance harmony and stuff like that but each network has a different token standard so i am on binance smart chain so this is the network i have chosen binance smart chain and clearly you can see ship ship token is here so this is pep 20 token standard because it is on finance smart chain it is not on ethereum chain and when i change this network to let's say ethereum okay so when i change this to ethereum so it will show me shiba inu but this shiba inu is different from pep 20 shiba inu their price action will be same they are the same token but on different chains their nature of token is different so this is ERC20 token on the Ethereum. If I add it, click import, and now you will see the ship is there, but it will show me zero because it is on the Ethereum chain. So the question is, how I can transfer my token from Binance to Ethereum with ease? And that is what this video is about. So step number one, go to the centralized exchange. So number one is going to the centralized exchange. Any centralized exchange that you have, and if you are holding the token there. it is a simple step now let me go to binance.com now remember if you want to learn about what are erc20 and brc20 token standard just click on the link above and watch that video because brc20 is the new token standard on bitcoin that is gaining crazy value now let's say i choose usdt which is a tether and if i want to send it to let's say any chain all i need to do is click on withdraw and once i click on withdraw I need to enter my address, and once I enter my address, here it gives me option of the network. So the best part of centralized exchange is you can choose which chain you want to send your token, and it will show you all the options. I can send it to Web20, so it will become a Web20 token. I can send it to Ethereum, it will become ERC20, Arbitrum, Optimism, Matic. So likewise. So it's a very easy process for you. So now, what if you already have token in one of the network? Now that is where the things becomes complicated. So in that you have the option of bridge using decentralized exchange bridge. So if you send a token back to central exchange, that will be a long step. Now this is a shorter step that I will tell you with lowest cost. So number one is multi chain dot org. So this is the first bridge that you should use. Now remember as a caution, this bridge was hacked recently, so I suggest not to use it. at least for the next 2 to 3 months if you are watching this video and keep an eye on their twitter handle because they are saying that do not use the multi chain bridging services now so until or unless they come up with some clarification do not use this bridge but it is one of the most effective bridge once it starts its operation so multi chain is also called any swap and this is how it looks remember i covered a detailed video about multi chain hack just click on the link above to watch that video and know what happened to this bridge so moving away from multi chain for now the second bridge which i have been using is this it is called as portal x swap its ui is good now i will connect my wallet and just show you the process connect my metamask so this is my metamask let it connect now meanwhile 
Even Dogecoin has a DRC20 token standard with lot of DRC20 token. So click on the link above and check that video if you want to learn about DRC20 token and Litecoin20 token standard. So there are a lot of token standard emerging right now. They can make you money if you enter early and watch my videos. So my network is connected. Now I need to select the token. So this is the token that I need to select. Go to BNB. A lot of chains are given here. Go to BNB. So recently I have also talked about pulse chain swap using the pulse chain network and any other chain do check out the video by clicking on the link above so i am on bnb chain now i need to type here ship or shiba so it will show me shiba inu token and this is the value 17419 i click on ship and now this will be the max okay and now I want to convert into ERC20 token which is Ethereum and here I need to again search for SHIB. So this is SHIB Ainu zero value because I don't have ERC20 token standard of this and now it will allow me to convert my BEP20 to ERC20 on my MetaMask directly. Remember you can also reverse it. You can change your ERC20 to BEP20 likewise and now it is calculating and finding the right bridge for me and let me just wait here and once it does it the so minimum amount is 3.732 ship to spend and all this transaction are here so transaction details are here so everything is ready within few seconds the bridge will be ready and once it's ready i can just click here and go ahead with the swap that's how easy this step can be done now remember do check out the twitter page of that particular bridge if you want to swap your tokens because there are updates there are hacks there are a lot of news going around in the crypto industry some are banned some are not so keep an eye on their social handle before doing such transaction of course these are totally secure if the network is trustworthy so that's about the video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Do thumbs up if you like the video and do watch the video shared on the end screen. I see you in the new video. Till then, take care and have a nice day.